Good evening and welcome back once again. Now hopefully you did watch the last match, it was a thriller. We were winning 2-0 at half time and we pretty much just collapsed in the second half, threw it away. Uh, the other team only had two chances and they scored both and uh, ended up 2-2 as you can see on the bottom left there. Now because of that we're now third with 14 points and we're actually playing second place Lagane today who we've got 15 points. So this is a, a massive match, probably the biggest match of the season so far and that's even including the Copa del Rey match again against the Division 1 team, Athletic Club, I would say this is even bigger, you know, because our main objective is to get promoted in the first season. We've had a few results recently where it just hasn't quite gone our way or we haven't quite been playing at our best. So let's hope we can get those three points today. And this is the team we're going in with today. Again, Bashir, he, he probably does need a rest, but we're going to start him on the right wing. Fabio Vieira is still playing. We have dropped Carlos Perez just to give him a bit of a rest and because Castledean's on a, on an up. Rice is coming in for that reason as well. And it looks like Harrington could come off the bench to have an impact as a sub. That's the team we're going to go in with. Let's hope we can get three points this time. And I certainly wouldn't say that we've been playing terrible in the last few matches. We've had some really closely run games, but I think we've sometimes just failed to find that killer instinct, like I've said before. And the last match was purely down to just a terrible start in the second half. Defensively, passes. And once we let that first goal in, and we seemed to be a little bit all over the shop, it took us a while to find our feet. And by that time, it was already 2-2. And um, yeah, other than that, I mean, attacking-wise, we were playing very well uh, in the first half, at least. But anyway, it's a fresh start. We have got some tired legs, but I'm confident we can get the three points today. It's going to be a tough match against second place, but I'm feeling confident today. Give it away though. Again, Vieira's not been at his 100% form, I would say. He's just been lacking a little bit. Still such a brilliant player though. Nicely played. Good effort. Good effort. It's going to take a, a ridiculously good strike to beat the keeper from uh, that range. Good block. Yeah, I think we'll just find the limitations of our squad as well. You know, we've got a lot of tired bodies and we've got some very, very good players. Um, a few really quality players, but when we're having to rest those or they're not quite having their best game, I think we're finding that, you know, some of the lesser players that we're starting with, it's, uh, it's quite a big difference. Yeah, we're oh, wide. Good run, though. And I think it was worth a shot. Decent strike. It wasn't scuffed or anything. I think we might need a little bit of luck as well. You can't rely on luck at all. You know, you need to play your way out of bad patches but um, a little bit of luck wouldn't go miss now here's who what can he do there's not really much space there nice nice play from Vieira there but again there's just nowhere to go That's, one of those has got to be a foul leading up to that uh, final tackle. Oh, c right, okay. Mm hmm. Not going to start getting angry, but I'm sure that was a foul on my play and I won the ball there. Never mind, never mind. Start of. Oh, hang on a minute. Good block. Yeah, Bajer has been the one outstanding player in the last few matches. Really good promising player. Good 
Castledean. Ah, straight at the keeper. Nicely worked uh, play by the team. Again, some of these tackles seem to be pretty heavy. When I play them, I get a free kick calling me. Um, that is a nice tackle that time. That was it, he hasn't had much of the ball. Oh, nice ball from uh, Vieira. I don't know how he got that through to the player. Castle Dean again. Oh, wide. He's finding some space. He hasn't quite got his shooting boots on at the moment. Just wide. Promising. Promising start. Well, I say start. We're <laughs> not far from half time, really. ball from six. He just needed to lay it off for Vieira. It was a pretty simple pass. Uh, yeah, was, uh, I might have got a piece of the ball, but that was a, a pretty reckless uh, challenge. Yeah, I mean, he, he got the ball after hitting the player about two or three times. So I agree with that one. That's uh, That's a foul. Nice play. Not many people up in support. Can Zirkesy keep it going? Just about. Just about. He does. I don't know how he kept that ball. Well done. And Zirkesy gets it back. Oh, that would have been a lovely goal after all the hard work he'd done. Defender just blocks it. Come on, let's keep it going. We need to get a goal before half time. Is there anyone in support? No? Anyone? Oh, gas. Oh, it won't fall the Zirxie. See. And here's Zirxie again. Blocked out by the defenders. There was no room for manoeuvre there. What is going on? Just can't get that ball through. It's just a, a wall of yellow shirts. I was purposely trying to wait, wait to the last second to play the pass there, but that'll be half time. I don't think we really need a look at the stats this time. Let's just jump in the second half. Yeah, just for your guys' interest, the, the possession itself was 68% to myself. Um, which is probably one of the highest I've seen in first half that I've played, although normally we do have the majority of the possession. Uh, 68 is even good for me. Ah, Bajer loses out. I do feel like he's um, he's going to need a break soon. He's going to need a match or two off. Oh, sexy. Just a bit heavy on the passing. Again, that's something he probably needs to improve all, like as part of his all-round game. That The odd time I have seen that in games where he's had the chance to put someone through. And it's just been a bit heavy. That's a foul. Nicely out wide to Bajer there. Rice, of course it's blocked. <laughs> right, counter attack, come on. Well, that's not what I was trying to do. That was almost comical. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, Bjerg, his legs are gone, I think. Oh, hang on. Xerxes, oh, he's hit it wide. Oh, that chance came out of nothing. It was on his left, but you've got to be slotting that away. Yeah, just blocks it. Arcus plays it straight into him. Nice first touch, but got to be finishing it. Yeah, and that's a yellow for the earlier challenge where I just took him out. Fair enough. I think we are going to have to make some subs. We're going to bring on Carlos Perez and Harrington for Arcus and Bajer. Straight swaps. We're trying to rest Carlos Perez, but I think bringing him on for 30 minutes or so, I think it's worthwhile in this game. You know, we need to get a winner. A draw would not be... A, oh, oops. The draw would not be a terrible result, but I'm going to assume that um, I've forgotten the team that's in first place, but I'm assuming they're probably going to win. So that would just, you know, make the gap even bigger if that's the case. Nice ball. Probably shouldn't have shot there, but we've got the corner. And yes, we'll have Vieira take it. Decent ball, just couldn't quite get on the end of it. Good tackle. Now here's Vieira, what can he do? Lovely ball. Oh, that's poor, that's a poor touch there. It's perfectly placed ball. But again, they're starting to come in the game more. And they're going to be a threat on the counter. And we've already... Has he just fallen over there? Or has he gone back to the earlier? I don't know what that's for. Yeah, let's come back to something that happened earlier. Um, anyway... Can Carlos Perez find a breakthrough? Xerxes. Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Oh. I thought I'd overrun it, but the fact that I actually managed to get on the end of it there. Oh, that's got to go in. Oh dear. That's uh, uh it does make you think it's gonna be one of those games, doesn't it? Oh here we go. Oh good block in the end. That was pretty much scripted there, wasn't it? It was like miss at one end and um they just go and head and score straight away. It's a pretty terrible corner. Just let that go out. Right, come on. We need to get this attack going. That's not the way to do, but get a little bit of luck. Oh, Carlos Perez was in. The pass was just under here ever so slightly, and it's uh, made all the difference there. Oh, no, 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 no. It's a bad, bad pass. And that wasn't any bad pass by them, actually. Yeah, that's a terrible tackle. Yeah, don't need to say that. that was a terrible, terrible tackle, but that was just frustration, I think, for me. They've definitely got a bit of quality this team that I'm playing. Um, you can see why they're in second place. But decent ball through. 
to Xerxes. On oh, my word. He is having a shocker today, Xerxes. Yes, yes, you should be angry. It's a nice ball through. I think it was Carlos Perez. Takes a couple of touches. Oh, just got to hit the target. Oh, I'm not sure how we haven't scored in this game. Been saying that a lot, though. There's a few games where I'm... Wait, what's that? Right, okay, well, they had the ball, so they could have played on, but never mind. That was uh, going for the spectacular. <laughs> He's on his legs as well by the looks of it. Ah, wrong decision. Wrong decision there. Oh, please don't pay for this now. Good tackle there. Zixi. Oh, heavy touch. What? Is that offside? Oh, not a foul. Oh, come on, I got... Uh, I think that's probably going to be the last chance. There might... There might be a chance for them. Um, oh, it's a shocking ball. Shocking ball there. And that's it, it's nil-nil, not the three points that we wanted. We pretty much did everything but score, and Xerxes was, um, well, it, a lot of those were down on him. Again, possession, shots on target, etc., great, but it's that end product we're lacking at the moment. And Lagoida, our centre defender, somehow got man of the match. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. He did put in a couple of good tackles. And he actually came in to give another centre-back a rest. Again, we played pretty decently. It's just in that last third, we just couldn't find it. And I think Xerxes had about three or four shots that went wide. Yeah, and just look at the table now. I checked the results and Levante had a very convincing 4-0 win. Goal difference could become a factor as well. We're now four points behind. It's not the end of the world. I believe the top three go up. Ideally, we don't want it to be that close. But again, you know, we're creating the chances. I certainly think that come the January transfer window, we're going to have to have a think about potential signings. Could we bring in even just one player that could have an impact or even a little bit of depth to the, to the squad? But either way, even though I'm a bit disappointed with the result, Really appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully next time there'll be some goals. At least there was plenty of action, even if we couldn't find that winning finish. Hit that like button if you can, if you did enjoy it. Drop a comment down below. I've said it before and I'll say it again, but just really enjoy the interaction I have with you guys. I do like hearing what you guys think about the matches and the series as a whole. If you've got any tips for any players, you know, we have got a budget to work to. We're in the second division of the Spanish league, so superstars are not going to be on the horizon in the next season or two. We're looking at young players, so any suggestions you've got for decent young players that could maybe turn into world beaters in two or three seasons, if we can get them in, in early, that could be a big boost for our team. But yeah, join me next time. Hopefully we'll be back on winning ways and I'll push ourselves a little bit further up the league. So join me then and I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers.